How we doing, guys and girls and ladies and kids, whoever watches? It's an absolutely glorious Saturday morning or afternoon. Um, depends on how long this takes to upload. Um, and I've been playing with Gender Industries Diamond Films today. So um, I've got a crop that was given to me by Andy Drummond, and to be honest I've just given it a go by refreshing the edge. So I've gone down through the grit stages all the way from 15 to 0.5. Um, down so I've gone through the films slowly because I've never done it before um, 30 times each way and we'll see how we go so I might have gone too much I don't know um, I've done a hanging air test and she cuts quite nicely so we shall see it's going to be quite nice because I like the crop and I haven't used it for a little while so soap wise we're going to jump onto the Rumble 59 by Absham Absalom, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's German. Um, and this stuff, well, look at it. A soap company gives it in a glass jar like that. You, we're talking top class. Not many soap companies do that. I like this idea. The old pop, pop reminds me of an old sugar jar. Um, it's a paste. It's a bit, in my opinion, looking at it, it's airy. It's got, if you can see, it's a few bubbles from her. So, and she smells lovely. Lovely, she does. So yeah, that's today's today's shave. So oh well, without further ado we shall crack on. Um tips are wet. I'm just gonna use the tips and see see how we go. I've not bloomed it because some soaps don't need it, so never know, never know. I had a good drink last night, um went out for dinner. It's a local pub bar me called the Wheat Sheaf. Um, good dinner. Food was exceptional. Um, and I mean exceptional. Monkfish tail scampi for starters, for God's sake. You can't beat a good old bit of monkfish. I love monkfish. Um, I just had their five star beef burger. And um, if you want to see the chutney and the relic, oh, you couldn't have asked for a better dinner, really. Um, okay. As you can see, she's. She's loading quite well, and the scent is really, really. My missy says it reminds her of air freshener. You know the old cheapy ninety nine p air fresheners you spray around your house. It's got that vibe, but to me, it's very sea airy. It's very fresh. It, yeah, it's nice. And actually, I've got to admit, she's loading quite well, so that's a good thing. Well, right, close the lid. The tips have got enough on them. Um, We'll see, see how we go. Um, first initial thought, she's, she's like, coming on nicely. It was nice on the skin, fence nice. So yeah. Pine, the old, it's piney as well. The old um, dish, pine disinfectant sort of thing. That's wicked, I like it. Put a smile on my face, that. Yeah, good stuff. And a few pints of it's called Hot Rising last night. It's a um, young lad in a bar with a pub we drink in the week shift. He's um, on a master brewer's course. So between eight different pubs, they brewed about 12 casks of this stuff called Hot Rising. Their alcohol from alcohol read only goes up to like 7% and it 6.7, but it, was, it kept rising. So they had to cut it off at 6.7. Um, I think it was a bit stronger. I had three pints of that and I was near enough on my arse, so good stuff. So I had a couple more pints, I had a couple of pints of Old Trip, um, a couple of pints of Tiger. It's quite nice. And it's Beer Club on Tuesday, so all the best. So it's going to be a good week. Right, nice, nice lover, nice scent. Um, what can I say? It's a, it's, so far, so good. It's a good Saturday. Right, let's see how well I did with this. I'm going to warm the blade up. Bit of air in the system. Okay, cool.
Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's as sharp as some of the edges I've used, but it's, it's shave ready to say that. Yeah, just shave ready. Yeah, she's cutting away quite nicely, chap. So, gender films are all right. I like them. Yeah, sweet. Soap's lovely. I think my brush might have lost her hair. So. Yeah, nice soap, nice slick soap. The feedback you get from this crop is unreal. It really is. She sings lovely. And I like that. I like the way she sings. Right, so, quick first pass. I mean, quite a quick one. Because I shaved yesterday. Um, and to run a few bit of soaps performing, how any decent soap would. You know, normally with some of the German soaps, I get normally a bit of a, a sting, but I ain't getting any of that. It's quite nice. It feels quite nice on the face. Quite a nice post shave feel to her as well. So, right, ready for pass number two. Yeah, cracking so. To grain, see how well done. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm not a master at it, I know that, but I managed to put a good edge on it. I'm happy. Amaze myself. Yeah, honestly, that's not bad. Second passing on baby but smooth.
Vamos a eso. Took this um watching one of Anthony Esposito's videos and the fact that going with the grain against the grain and then buffing up kind of gives you a better shave I mean, and talks you about doing what I'm doing now, I'm, I'm stoked. Well, I'm going to a wedding reception tonight, and so I'm shaving earlier than normal, and yeah, I did alright with that. Um, nice, cold swill, two seconds. First time I'm going to go over the gender industry films, and um, I've got to admit, yeah, she's sharp. I just let me run the blade across the, the shirt and put a freaking hole in it just to dry it off. It does like no tissue or something, but yeah, no, she's um she's great. The crop is now serviceable again. She's usable again, and to be honest with you, she's one of my favourite straights. So no, well chuffed. The gender films worked really, really well. Easy to use, I've got to admit, easier than I thought they were. Um, bit of water on the back end, lay it flat so it sticks to the bit of marble that Dave sent me. Keep it lubricated as you're going up and down. Just, just going steady, it, it works wonders. And to be honest, if I'm just going to refresh the edges for myself, that works a treat. I'm only going to get better with time, so yeah, absolutely stoked. I'm happy to be. Happy to pieces for that. Right. The Absham, number 59. Good properties for post shave. Nice soft skin. Feels good, doesn't feel dried out. I like that. It's moisturising, it's design of the pot, fantastic. Soap inside is excellent. Really, really, a really, really nice soap. Um, well thought of design wise and soap wise and yeah. That's cool, I like this. This is probably one of the nicest soaps from Germany that I've used. I used the Tabula Rasa, um, I think it's set, um, Steampunk. I traded that with Bayman for the smalls, because in all fairness, the 7.5 wasn't me. It was nice, don't get me wrong, but not, it wasn't my cup of tea as such. So People love it, you, you have, everybody likes different things. So, but yeah, that's a pretty damn cool soap for me. I like that one. Um, right, shave for the day is done. Quick two passes, I don't really have to do any more because I'm shaving now on a daily basis, so I'm pretty much getting the results I need. Um, happy with the crop, it's the same brush. I need to get another one of these really because I want one with a silver tip. Just the handle is just the bee's knees. It really is, and it's a bloody good brush. She, this is a lava monster, she really is. Um, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, peeps, and I will speak to you again in probably a day's time with another video. I've got a, another razor to use. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to put you on pause, and I'm going to go and get it, and I'm going to get my other soaps and stuff, and then I'll, I'll go through them. Actually, I've got to do that. Do it now. All right, <clears throat> I'm back. Glasses on, I can see you. Um, this was my other mail call yesterday. This is the Gotter, the hamburg ring. Um, apparently this is a cracking razor, according to some of the guys on TSR and the Italian Tutor group. Um, they reckon it's a phenomenal razor to use. To me, she is 
I'd say she's hollow, she's not half hollow, she is hollow bound, so um, I don't know whether you can see. Um, she's a nice, nice looking major to one, she's got a nice scale design, the pins are pretty cool. So yeah, this is probably going to be one of the ones I'll use in the next video. So I'll pick this one up off the old bay. Um, yeah, she's, she's a nice razor. It's a bit of damaging to the, the top pin up here, but it's not cracked the scale, it's just where she's been repinned, I think, so. Right, soap wise, I've had the Wisdom by Soap Commander, the Lavender and Peppermint. This stuff smells the nuts. Does it smell like a polo? It's awesome. And to mention, I can't wait to try this. This is probably one of the ones I'm really, really looking forward to. And the Seabirds who do the Soap Commander range don't have to give you. You get value for money. The size of the tub look huge. And they fill it up. They only leave a little bit. They leave about 10 mil at the top. So you get a good whack of soap for your money. So, and it's got a, it's got a good, a good ingredient list. It's nothing, sh no, no cheap shit. It's great. And it smells fucking awesome. So yeah, I'm well chuffed with that. That's one from Mr. Penny himself. Well, in fact, all of these from Mr. Penny. And then we're gonna go for the soap commander range. I've got the refreshing pep refreshing mint that you see yesterday. And then we're gonna move on to the crisp bay one. Well, this stuff smells stunning. Um, as with all of soap commanders, you get little bubbles. Soapy Batman, sorry. But this smells, it's cologne to me, it is. It's aftershave smell. It's, I've got nothing that will pair well with it, but I've got some Ogula Bay Rum, which I'll put on after. And I've got some Virgin Island by Clubman, so that's what I'm going to try. That is a cracking shave, that. And this smells gorgeous. So yeah, got that one. And then we got the Just Bananas. Um, I don't know who out there hasn't used Soapy Breath Man, but seriously, seriously good stuff. Oh, it's just, it just surrounds you. Oh, it's great. Homemade banana bread, that's what that smells like to me. And I love banana bread, so awesome, awesome stuff. So yeah, Mr. Kimba, you'll get your sample on the fourth. No dramas, Pat. And then I've got Reef Point Peerless. I had the classic barber shop, which was absolutely fantastic in the little metal tin. Lovely, lovely soap. Um, to me, the formula looks a bit different on this one. It looks more, it's a bit softer compared to the, the other one I tried, but scent wise, this is, this is stunning. It's fresh, it's, it's a, I'm no good with scents. I am, it smells good, I like it, I'll use it, but this is, it smells of nuts, it really, really does. And to be honest with you, if it performs like the last wave point I used, it's gonna be a pleasure to use. So yeah, another one from Mr. Penny. These are all from Mr. Penny, so. And then I've got some samples. So I've got the Soapy Bathman Cigar Lounge sample. Um, and to be honest with you, you can just smell the pipe tobacco in this, and it's fresh and it's, it's manly, not fresh, it's manly. It's a, a manly scent, so yeah, I like that. And we've got the Black Magic, which is the one I really, really want to get hold of. Because this stuff smells. It reminds me of an old aftershave my dad used to wear. And he didn't wear many. And it's nice, it's very, very nice. So that's one that needs to move to the top of the list. And then we've got the espresso. I smelt this at Gus's. Um, I've got a sample and I can't wait to use this. This is a reef point. Um, you cannot beat the smell of fresh coffee in the morning. Without a shadow of a doubt. The roasting of the beans, the whole way through, you cannot beat it. And that is the essence of that. That fresh, sweet coffee smell that you get in the morning when you wake up, that's what that smells like to me. And that absolutely gorgeous so yeah that's my um my little delivery so shave done all the best speak to you again soon bye bye